Hey guys, Tyra here bringing you a 1v1 today. We are on road to Tunis. And today spawning on the left, we've got Red Wings. With US forces, he's gone for Airborne and you can see he's gone with the uh, start where you build scouts. Then they auto convert to Pathfinder, saves you a tiny bit of manpower. On the right hand side, we've got Treads with Africa Core unsigned on battery currently. He's queued up three crowd shots in at this stage though. <laughs> in terms of rankings, Treads is currently ranked two with Africa Core. Red Wings is 20 something, 25 ish. So, uh. See how this one goes. The Treads trained up for the uh, tournament recently, the Resurgence Cup. So this is a good form at the moment. But let's see, I have not seen uh, this one, three Crutchitson. Maybe he knows what Red Wings is up to, maybe he thinks it's strong, it's Pathfinder start. Red Wings has gone for no building yet. I would expect weapon support center with this kind of, I mean, uh, yeah, weapon support center with this kind of start. Is that what it's called? Look at this. Oh, oh, see that easy. <laughs> Two on the same one, doesn't cap any faster. Comes in to jam the cap on this one. I think he should probably try to use these two together, and there he goes. And they will chop down that Pathfinder pretty quickly. He does manage to secure the cap on it, but I think that was Red Wing's main objective there. So there we go. Up against the engineer, it's closing in. He's jumped into the building as well. Give himself a bit more durability. Switching from target to target here. With these a little bit low, they come back in. They might have backed away for some auto repair. Self repair. I'm going to do that now. Maybe he wanted to milk every little bit of health out of them he could before repairing them up and. The self repair is very fast. Looks like he didn't hit it twice though. So maybe a slight misclick from Treads. Looks at it okay though, because he kind of defends the other one while this one's repairing. Got to lose control of his cutoff though, it looks like. Yeah, weapon support center, and he went for the uh, ear. Port Center as well. Did recently get buffed, of course. Mine down here, the assault green's about thrown in too. Might allow the engineers to win this. Yep. Still pretty close. She seems to be getting going a bit more here. Oh, oh. Died as it was disappearing off screen there, not quite. So this one did still have water appear up its sleeve, so... Let's get one now, that's good. Probably has enough to beat both of these. Let's see some uh, paratroopers dropped in. A lot of infantry, and he's going for the mid tent next. Do the option of, you know, with going for like a quad. We're chased down and killed these decently. The quad's not super fast, but Hutchinson doesn't last long. All oh, late retreat. He gets away with it though. Speaking of getting away with it though, not the case. Hutchinson goes out, gets out of there early with the paratroopers. The salt greens were nearby. Oh, and then the mine takes out the next one. One of our units has been slain. Nice mine from Red Wings. Does have double engineers. They spend quite a lot of munitions on that as well. Can we get back to work and all now? things considered, his map control's been pretty good up against this triple crutchets and start. Looks like it's a fast tech up here now for treads. I 
I need to mechanize. Still unselected on the battle group. It's not coming out of the base fully healed. Let's stay there for a couple more seconds. It's got a pretty long uh, area. More assault grenadiers, and assault grenadiers have picked up a lot of popularity this patch. I've noticed. See way more assault grenadiers. They didn't get anything changed about their performance. Just players can't really use the 250 as much anymore, so I'm trying out other things. Oh my goodness, this got very low, didn't it? What is cool for treats down the other side? Upgraded uh, bazookas on the squad. Might regret that. I'm guessing though Treats is going to go for an 8 rod. Did allow him to uh, cause him to lose that fight very badly. Just go for a cheeky decap here, but has to get out. Looks like Red Wings goes for the uh, self healing on the Pathfinders out of combat. Going for a machine gun from the weapon support center. I played uh, the other day with assault engineers versus assault grenadiers, and boy, the assault engineers get torched. So I imagine the regular engineers, it's much worse. Retreating here, maybe looking to get behind some heavy cover, stall out for a little bit longer. The 8 rad is in production for Treads. He's locked into armored support, gone for the machine gun upgrade on it. Remember that it only gives a 50% bonus to the 8 rad compared to 100% to everyone else, so still makes it a lot more potent, but it ain't what it used to be, that's for sure. Does eventually force a retreat, but did manage to get the cap off first. I'll find it coming in here. So it's playing it safe, decides to back away, maybe expecting a rotation of some kind of light vehicle, but you know that's not the case. Everyone's dropping an AT gun out the back. The paras are on the other side. The AT gun's in a good position, quite close to base. Parazute's coming in. Treats goes for a 250 call-in. Complement it. Machine gun decrewed. A T gun misses at that range. I feel like that should not be possible. Like if you looked up the numbers on chance to land at that that range, I feel like that should be a hundred percent. What happened there? A T gun decrewed. Uh, assault grenade is killed over here. I'm guessing. Trips may be a bit too focused on his shenanigans and they're paying off because he's going to try to tow away Red Wings' AT gun here. Okay, right. Should be able to uh, prevent this dying to small arms and Trips going all the way around. Might crew it here, no. Just dismounting. Send that back to base. Bazooka's coming in hot though, could catch some of these. Looking for the intercept, Treads did delay his exit. He's gonna be spotted by the retreating unit here. The enemy have claimed our sector. Think the 250 should be alright. The A-Rod though is still in a bit of jeopardy. Shit. How much? 142 health. So we will survive two bazooka shots. Maybe a bit of small arms on top of that, or maybe a third bazooka. Oh, the bazooka's going to have to land their shots first off, and I don't know if they're going to get another chance here. In fact, they're not. The assault community is doing too much damage now. Treads is time to turn the table. Hunting down this white. And I think he's going to get it as well. Trids even popping the Panzer Storm just to make this chase a bit easier for him. 
picked up a second 8 rod now. That's getting stuck in as well. Harris gone. Drops in another AT gun. Reblings desperately needed this earlier. If he dropped an AT gun like around here earlier, maybe could have killed this, prevented the uh, steal. He had the manpower for it too. You can see after just deploying one, he's still got close to 300 manpower. That's good. Strafe usage, that's from the air support center. Shuts these down completely here. Gotta be careful, these pathfinders could be next on the white train though. And here they go. If they retreat on this side, they're in some trouble. Oh, they're still in trouble with eight ruts. Get the kill anyway. It's definitely where those machine gun uh, upgrades come in. Makes them a lot more consistent at getting those wipes. Red Wings, in spite of all this, has had dominating territory control, as you can see. He suffered a lot of wipes, but he's about to push out Hellcat. About the 12 minute mark that's going to hit, so his ad has got to be careful. Only got one Panzieger to defend them right now. Remember, Treads did lose two or three crutch shots on himself, so it's not like he's without his own losses. Lost one assault grenade over here, so can't manage this game really. Yeah, just chipping away. Oh, you can see he was out of machine gun range, and the the cannon was struggling to do damage past the cover. There wasn't really successful. Hey, Raj, Panzer storming. AT gun's in a compromised position, but the Hellcat's about to be here. He sent it out to the wrong side, though. Lindsay Jaeger's crawling around. The 8 rods are going. 5 to 250 knocks that out. 8 rods are fast. Misses the first shot. Smoke out from Red Wings. Might save the AT gun a little bit here. Hans Jaeger's come out of suppression somehow. I don't know... I guess they crawled past the arc and the Hellcat is just missing every shot right now. Bad luck for Red Wings and these guys are so fast. He has to give up the chase. That Panzer Storm, even with the speed reduction in the last patch, still incredibly quick. Martin now for Treads to answer this. He is actually struggling for fuel, like usually once you're in this stage of Africa Core, you just about don't need any more fuel for the rest of the game, but... Red Wings has had very good territory control. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> oh, boy. Big old whiff, eh? Patrickson is the smallest vehicle in the game, so anything's gonna miss. Oh! There's a bios dead over here. If anything was going to cause a vehicle to miss or an AT gun to miss, it would be that. I got size of 6. I think the next smallest is 9, which is the uh, kitten crowd. 50% larger. So an AT gun and the Marta coming out from Treads. I don't know where that AT gun was during that last skirmish over here. Maybe could have got some damage onto the Hellcat. Speaking of the Hellcat. Two shots on the eight rod. Commandant, the ability is ready. Pop this open, see what we've got here. So he's got vehicle survival and emergency repairs. So Treasure's vehicles are in a good position to scale to, through the rest of the game. Uh, grenade assault there, not working out too well. Well dodged at least. Forced the retreat. Rubens have got a lot of munitions now. He's building a Sherman next. Here comes the Hellcat. This time round, but he's fast. Clean get away. Managed to complete the capture. 
See, Treats is quite far down on victory points as well. It's not just resource points he's been lacking. Red Wings has been applying a great amount of victory point Enemy forces lead, have and uh, now Bazooka's coming online for Red Wings. He's got the supply drop. This is just waiting for his final battle group option. going to be the carpet bombs or is it going to be the rocket run? I think the rocket run's still a little bit weak at the moment. Zeg is in a bit of trouble here. I'm struggling to land these shots though. There's a little bit of damage in there. The A-Rods are pretty healthy with all those uh, durability buffs on the armory. Gun. A little bit far behind. Kind of needs it up here. Landing a couple shots as well. Treads. Looks like he's found his position where he's going to stop and hold on. So T Gun's a little bit out of the frame, though. Let's bring it in now. So, uh, Rebling's making use of the recon pass there. We'll see what's back here. Knows what's coming. Chases away that. And Sherman's going to come in. Some pretty good hits with this gun there. Usually it scatters quite poor. And here we go. He's storming up. Red Wings dropping down the cover bomb, but he just drives right past it. And T-Gun quickly decrews. Hellcat's missing some shots. Even surviving at the moment for Treads. And so there's Bazookas up here. The 8 rods coming back in. A little bit late to retreat the machine gun. That's going to go down as well. Well timed attack there from Treads. Knew the Bazookas had retreated. And it was his green light to get stuck in. And now he just auto repairs all of this. Are in. Red Wings has to spend a lot of time out the back. Occupy his troops. Don't think anything really got hit by the copper bombs either. That's going to be a Stug D for Treads. also brought in a Corwin. Oh, the Hellcat missing again. Red Wings is having a really bad go of it today. If the Hellcat misses, it can happen. And now the machine gun gets captured. You guys notice how like, the machine gun arcs? Slightly shift as they finish setting up. That was happening last patch. Okay, two Hellcats now. My crew have secured the location. Not too far off being able to do another copper bomb. He's dropped in a supply drop somewhere at some stage. I didn't pay attention to that, but has boosted up the munitions of Red Wings. And he's gonna drop in a dive bomb here from the ASC. And Treads is really slow. Cost him his machine gun. Pangeag is lucky it survives. Shimon probing rotates these guys. The Hellcat's on the edge. So that they were in a good position to attack. And no, no. I didn't realize this, but he's got both the anti tank guns now. Both of the US Forces anti tank guns in Treads' position. Position. That's tough for Red Wings. One more thing he has to dodge. Gotta need the copper bomb, most likely for those going to hit. There's a good dive bomb, though, knock out the machine gun. A little bit of an ambush coming in here. Bazooka AT gun, big damage on the Stug. 
And the Hellcat finds the crud on the side. Looking for the kill. Can't get it. He's a little bit too slow. Wow. Commandant, you need us? What a menace. <laughs> I think it's... <laughs> Treads back on the drain though, ticking under 200. Mine's coming up from Red Wings. I'm a little bit surprised he's not saving for another cover bomb, but he does still have the dive bomb, which can also force AT guns to pack up and have to dodge. Opens up some attack vectors for the double Hellcats. Okay, he's popped the Panzer Storm. Oh, um, did the AT gun just miss at like this range again? Are you serious? Something's got to be up. I feel like if I look at the numbers, that will be impossible. Okay, recon pass coming through from Red Wings. See the vision it's revealing. Here he goes. Double Hellcats making some plays. Catch the Shug out of position. And mop it up. The Martyrs too slow getting there. Hellcats zooming away to safety after all of that. Play there for Red Wings all. Really was a bit careless from treads seeing this over here with zero support all those anti tank guns over here is martyrs here as well who's maybe hoping to force an attack through the middle but it gets one on the side the flank coming in second sherman now for red wings pathfinder is providing some vision and here we go he's rolling in Drop the carpet bombs. But the Hellcats are a little bit behind. Sheeran going after the double AT guns. It's a Marta over there. One AT gun down. This Marta actually took quite a lot of damage. Might have been from the Hellcats. Right on the edge of the bomb zone. Oh, but here comes the anti-tank Lloyd now in return from Treads. Oh boy. Oh, he's facing the wrong direction with the turret. One Sherman down. It runs quite fast getting out of there. A bit of smoke maybe blocking some of the vision. Marta does eventually go down. Oh, this one's still alive, the eight rod. The Sherman might not be so lucky. Oh, the Hellcat, he's stuck around if he kept driving. Well, he gets the kill, but it costs him his Hellcat. And the Sherman dies anyway to the loiter. Oh, that is not good for Red Wings in the end. AT Loiter massively saving the day. Youth forces tend to bounce back from these kind of things a bit better. Just because they've got the med tent making their reinforced costs lower. But of course, Red Wings went for the air support center rather than infantry support center, so he's still got to pay full price for his reinforce. Bit less uh, than what we usually see. We're pretty close to another tank. He's building a uh, machine gun, which is interesting. Triple cap now against Red Wings. He's still got a lot of victory points to work with. He can make this comeback happen. He's down by, uh, you know. 12 population right now with the 8 rod in the field. He's doing some attack rounds here, expecting there to be a mine. Territory is now in enemy hands. Have to land a few shots. I think the 8 rod has about 15 penetration. The mine is, I think, 35 armor. So, might need, like, on average, you know, two or three shots. Machining has opened to actually, uh, our victory point is being knock out a mine when you land on top of it. So 
think Red Wings at this stage probably should be turtling up on one VP. That way you can actually maybe defend a bit better here. And just wait until his next vehicle comes online, which is going to be a bulldozer. This time around, he's given up on the regular Sherman, and he wants the dozer. Should be pretty effective against these assault grenadiers, especially if, you know, they throw out smoke and you have to, like, attack ground. Bulldozer's going to do a lot better in those kind of scenarios than a regular Sherman would, unless you've got the high explosive going, but... Have to get the Sherman V1 first for that, which is yeah. Why why bother when the bulldozer is just so good in the first place, you know? Maybe if you're like playing uh, armored, you got the straight V1 on the Sherman, which is something I'm looking to try out this patch. But I'm not to yet. I honestly wonder if maybe treads. Still building an 8-rod, should be building a recovery vehicle and starting to recover some of these wrecks he's got back here. He's got so many wrecks. A little investment now could pay off massively. So many wrecks on his side of the map. He could get a Hellcat, two 8-rods, I think there's a Marta, two Martas or something. There's a lot back there. And somebody did mention in my uh, YouTube comments that there's something weird about how recovery works, where vehicles with turrets are recovered basically twice as fast as the assault guns, so... Probably good for a Hellcat over a Marta. You would expect maybe like the size of the vehicle to influence how fast it gets recovered, but no. Into that comment, that's not the case. So, I guess you're recovering. Which, you know, is going to be more common after it's buffed to veterancy. Just keep in mind. A little floating shot there from the bulldozer. I bomb not landing on anything. And now with a bit of a chase down. Bulldozer rolling through the middle. Might has got his gun facing the wrong direction. The double ATs. Not in position either. T gun and bulldozer heading over. Again, Trids has lost control of the victory points. Our munitions point is being neutralized by the enemy. Still has maintained a pretty close uh, pretty similar lead throughout all of this, but the hell gets about to spike, so is the Strug. I honestly do think Trids did make a mistake not trying to go for the recovery vehicle, but maybe he feels like he's so low on victory points. You know, his recoveries do take a very long time. Maybe he doesn't think he's got time for it. I, I think it was possible. He's got enough for another anti-tank loiter. That's going to buy him some more time. Okay, coming across. We have surplus munitions. Not backing away, Marta's coming up. The enemy has dropped. It's neutralized Red Wings. The fight continues. He's lost control on the other two. Shift fire on enemy troopers. Give him three boots and pathfinders. I think he might have. Machine gun action though. D heading over this direction. He's dropping in another anti-tank gun now. That's interesting. Probably the right call. A victory point is being taken from us. Got the bazooka shots in there. Eight right has to back away. Oh boy, he's very lucky that both those bazookas missed. That was a dead 8 rad otherwise. Stug, smoke, attack round action. I think he's got uh, the machine gun upgrade on the Hellcat, so he can't really do anything about this. Doesn't have that one high explosive yet either. It's 
Well, there's one off. T-Gun bouncing there. Attack rounds. Just double checking their enemy mines. Stood driving up. Taking some more damage though. Who goes a little bit inactive here for Red Wings. Needs to get that uh, going. We have two anti tank guns pointing this direction though. He's got the vehicle capture. Hellcat missing its first shot. Jaeger can't quite complete the capture. He's got a dive bomb coming in on the double AT guns. Might actually get a little bit of damage done. Yeah, a little bit onto one of the AT guns. Oh, some breathing room for Red Wings through the middle, but he's got nothing he can do over here, and Tree just loaded up with munitions. Red Wings has brought in another paratrooper. I wonder if this is going to be another bazooka unit. At the moment, they're going after the AT guns, getting them low. Double AT's pushing up here on the 8 rods. They don't quite get any shots in, or if they do, they miss them. Oh. Oh! Oh, one of the bazookas missed, I think. Oh, rear wings, no! 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 Ah, he chased too far. He chased too far. He needed them badly. Took a lot of damage on his Hellcat as well. He's going to be out of action for a long time. Just pushed it a little bit too much there. Hey, Red making some moves. Don't need the smoke. Oh! Magic Pixel. Maybe the small arms can polish him off. It's unlikely. Very unlikely too. Enemy forces have claimed our sector. T guns backing away. So is the bulldozer as well. He's playing with that very conservatively. Barely shot at anything that bulldozer. Another stuck for treads. Now uh, the V1 on the eight route. If you activate that, combine that with the stug, it's not a bad combination. Be pretty effective. Maybe that's what Triggs is going to try to do. 8 Rod now converting into more of a support unit than an anti infantry unit. Shit. We're getting, getting around the side. Another paratrooper for Red Wings. He's just about evened out the army sizes. So I was saying, US forces tend to do better in these long games. It's the upkeep. So much more manageable. Treads though, he hasn't used the anti-tank Lord, he's got enough for two of them now. So, what's his ace? I think he's waiting for Red Wings to make the attack. He's going to try to use it defensively again, rather than trying to use it offensively, which he's not well equipped to chase. Marders are a bit slow. So I can understand that, but he's got to be careful, he might lose the game before he gets a chance to use both of them. I'm sent to the anti tank gun positioning right now for both players, especially Red Wings. Okay, finds the 8 Rod. It's a bit of road here for the 8 Rod, might help its escape. Big rotation. This could be the move for Treads. Did he wipe a squad there? I think he might have. Okay, gave up the chase to 8 Rod as one shot. Oh, Paratrooper. Getting wiped in the middle to the double Stugs. Bulldozer takes a walloping, has to get out of there. Initiated. Okay, he's got the war, uh, not war speed. Panzer Storm activated and he's coming in. He's steaming forwards. Just going to take these on head on. Brings in the loiter. Polishes off the Hellcat. Might be it for Red Wings. He lost so much there. Just a 
couple times we didn't quite kill eight rats, stuff like that. Lost a couple paratroopers. And uh, the big move there, steaming in. Even if he had a couple mines down, you know. This is Pan Storm. It's invulnerable to engine damage. Not have even mattered that much. Maybe that damage might have helped a tiny bit. But yeah. So now troops can hang in here. He's dropping on a carpet bombing. Red Wings, hoping for a real Hail Mary situation. This is easy drive away. Right, action. Two Hellcats in the queue for Red Wings somehow. I think that was a bit of, you know, if he was playing to play on, I think just throwing out a carpet bombing in that situation, a little bit of a throw. You know, he could make a push with all these tanks and a carpet bomb and he'd have a lot more success because straight up you know fighting these two mice with two hellcats pretty good but when you chuck two anti-tank guns and the panzjagers in the mix that's when it becomes harder but that's where the carpet bomb can really separate things out mother's getting that hellcat low speeds out to safety Triple cap though, rear wing's draining out fast here. Looks like he's gonna come out to the far side. The T gun did get stolen by Treads. Stop Stubdi in uh, long range mode, the 8 ride in its mode as well. A little surprised he doesn't see this even. Okay. Eight Rod gets herself in some trouble here. Oh, the Hellcat misses. <laughs> oh boy. I I do feel sorry for Ravens. I feel like he's had a bad go of the misses. This game. Okay, here we go. Oh, but he misses again. Wouldn't have been the kill shot anyway. And Red Wings now has a lot of repairs he needs to do. He tries to make a move in the middle, but the Stug D's guarding that. Um, can't work, he's got an 8-rod guarding the other side as well. He was relying on uh, making some plays here, and Trent has brought his mid-truck out so he can heal these up. So that damage they took up here earlier just doesn't even matter anymore. It's all being removed. Another AT gun for Red Wings. Enemy points at 75. Repeat, 75. Okay, he's gonna jump in. 64. Victory point. Enemy MG. This is a killing zone. Smoke working so well. Really shutting down Red Wings. Storm active again for treads. Just in case he needs it, which I don't think he really does. He drops in the AT loader as well. There's no vehicles in the circle, but the Hellcat's gonna drive in there now. Marta's been blasting away at the bulldozer. T gun flanked and knocked out. Just can't quite get the job done here, Rebrings. Well, weird game for sure. Treads with the triple crutch. It's I don't know if that's real or not. Didn't seem particularly good to me. But I don't know. You know, Red Wings did have a pretty strong start. His map control was very good in the early game. But it all came down to that push. 
They push him May close to Treads' base with two Sherman, two Hellcat. Looked okay at the start, but on the exit, ended up losing all of his tanks. He was, he was down by about 15 population as the dust settled after all of that. And never really managed to build his way back in. The couple bombing usage was suboptimal. You know, you really want to be coordinating couple bombs with your tank attacks, ideally on top of the AT guns to buy yourself a bit more time, and that didn't really happen. But uh, some decent use of the air support center, you know, the recon planes were helping out a bit. And uh, the, the dive bomb was also pretty good against the building. And, and forced the AT guns to move a couple other times as well. Treads able to gut it out in the late game with all the armed support abilities. Just turboed his way forwards, decreed both those AT guns, and after that, Red Wings really had no answer. It was a good awareness as well. Like, generally, Treads making his move when the paratrooper bazookas had retreated. That was his green light to go and got really good results because of it. GG. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game, you cast by me. Details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling instalment. Goodbye and good luck.